I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Stream. This includes an updated homepage, a vastly improved screen recording, analytics, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is an updated and improved homepage for Stream. There are a couple ways to get to Stream. You can open up a new tab and go to stream.microsoft.com and you can sign in directly there. And I'm just gonna go through the M365 homepage. So I'll open up the waffle here and go to explore all your apps and you're gonna see Stream right here. I'll click that and that opens up the Stream homepage. After that, you can also open it up directly through the waffle because this will show the last app that you chose. What you see here is the new Stream page has added a really nice set of options right at the top for creating new. You can upload videos, do a screen recording, a camera recording, or create a playlist. And I'll show how to do all those things in just a bit. Also updated this area down here where you have improved sorting and filtering. There were a couple of options before, but there have been new ones added, including meetings and playlists. So if I click on created by me, it'll automatically filter all the videos that are created by me. If I go to meetings, if I've had a meeting, here's a meeting that I did, it'll show it right there. You can also go to playlists. There's a playlist that I created earlier, shared videos, and then any video that I've favorited. You can also go back and filter anytime right here. So I can filter by keyword or by meeting name. So if I'm looking for those TPS reports, it'll instantly filter right there. And you have some other options when you drop down the little filter button. You can go by activity or time and lots of information inside the video itself. So where you've been at mentioned, if it's been edited or comments. So lots of different ways that you can filter and sort on videos. If you wanna see videos in a more visual way, you can click on the grid view and now I can see all the videos as nice little squares that are easier to launch. The second new feature is screen recording. So of these four options right here, I'm gonna choose screen recording. This launches the new screen recorder and by default, my video is in the lower left. I can size this, make it really big or make it really, really, really small like that or leave it just where it was. I can also close this. I can even do things like rotate it around. Whoa, I'm going upside down. There's lots of fun you can do with your camera. You can also choose something like a screen, a video or an audio here. So if I wanna just do video, there's me in video. If I want to do audio, I can do that. We'll go back here for screen. In the upper right, you have the three dot menu. I can choose my camera, choose back and forth, the microphones. I can mute myself or I can turn my camera off. Now what I'm going to do is pick a screen when I start screen recording and we'll start that up. Okay, I've got Edge, some tabs open, Windows or the entire screen. And you can also share system audio. So if you're doing a recording that has audio, that's how you can make sure it comes through in your screen recording. I will choose the Edge tab and we'll go to the Home tab. I'm gonna demonstrate this Microsoft 365 homepage and click Share. So now I get a nice little countdown and now things are recording. You can change around where you are. So if I wanna to go to the center, whoa, there I am the center dominating. I can go to the lower right or go back to the lower left. I also have the ability to add things to the screen. So there's text I can add, I can draw on the screen. So maybe you wanna draw some things right here and you have some options to change the colors and size. I can add stickers. So add a nice little happy face sticker right there, maybe drag it over here. And there are other things like filtering, frames, board, and photo. All of these come from the original flip camera, which has been integrated into stream fully. It's really nice. And in the upper left, you have things like clearing out and undo and redo. You can even add a teleprompter to go along with when you're doing your presentation and screen recording. Now, I didn't add anything yet, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this briefly, and when it's stopped, you can go and add the teleprompter in. So here's the teleprompter. I'm gonna paste my script in here. I've got all sorts of content. Make it much smaller, make it much bigger if you want. You can even change the scroll speed, and we'll see how that scroll speed works here in just a second. So when I hit play, it's going like a teleprompter. So I can say, landforms can be mountains and valleys. They can also be glaciers or rivers. You can pause it. If you wanna speed it up, maybe you're a really fast talker. Wow, now it's going really fast. Or maybe you're a really slow talker. So you wanna make it go really slow. You have all the options that you want in your teleprompter. And what I'm gonna do now is start up my recording again. So I'll click the button. Now it's recording again and my teleprompter is going. I can move the teleprompter over here so I don't have to have it right in my face. I could have it really high. I could have it really low. So this is really nice for screen recordings and making sure you know what's happening. And because it's transparent, you can still see behind your screen as that teleprompter is going. And we will pause on the teleprompter and close it here. 
So that gives you a nice overview of this improved screen recording. Now when you're done, you can click review. There is the video, that's me talking. I can move this around here. I can trim it, I can split it. You can see right here, that's where I paused it and turned on the teleprompter. Maybe I wanna split right there, now I've made a split. And maybe I wanna go and I wanna trim right here. I've just got this one part that I'm looking on. I'll hit pause, you know, I'm gonna confirm the trim or I can delete that. I'm gonna confirm the trim. So a few nice options you have for your screen recording when you're done. It's very easy to move around and do those different parts. I'll click finish. Now it's gonna prepare my video. Okay, now it's uploading. And my screen recording is all done and it's uploaded right into stream. So there's that entire video. I can do all the different things that I do on videos normally in stream. And I'll show more details of the improvements in just a bit but this is very quickly recorded and uploaded into the cloud, and now it is right there inside of Stream, ready to use. And there it is on my homepage, there's the nice little scribble I did on my screen recording. The third new feature is camera recording, and it's very similar to screen recording. I'm gonna click on camera recording here, and again, this will open up a full video. So this is just a video camera recording of you. And if I wanna go to screen, this is that screen recording option there. This is video, this is the camera recording. So very easy to do that same type of recording. Click the record button here. You have the same options over on the right hand side. Or if you just wanna do an audio recording, you can do the same as well. You have the pulsating audio if you don't wanna record yourself with the video. So this is an improved video recording capability that's built right into stream as well. And it works the same way as that screen recording worked. The fourth new feature is the ability to create playlists. So right here you see this playlist option and playlists use the list technology that is part of SharePoint. So I'm gonna click new playlist right here. This opens up Microsoft Lists and I can give my playlist a name. TPS report greatest hits, it's about TPS reports. And where do I wanna save this to? You can save it to my list or you can save it into actual places that you have teams for. I've got a lot of different teams here but I'm gonna save this one just into my list and I will click create. Here's my empty playlist and I can just go up here and choose add new item. So click this and now I can pick different items that I might already have for videos and add that into my playlist. So I've got this one, I'll choose this one. And then this is that new screen recording that I just created here. So I'm gonna add these three videos and click select. It adds them into my list and these are nice beautiful cards, very easy to find. I can click on them and navigate to the different videos that I added into my playlist. This is the one that I just created recently in the screen recording. I can edit these, I can share these, I can add more. In the upper right, you'll see playlists. I can drop this down. There's a few options I can have to edit this. I'm not gonna go into too many details. And these playlists will also show up back on your main stream homepage. So it's really easy to create your playlist and find your playlist. So this has been migrated from the classic stream. Now this uses the same technology in Microsoft SharePoint, which is these Microsoft lists to make playlists and they've been tailored to have video support, just like you see here. The fifth new feature is support for stream inside of Microsoft Teams. There's a new stream app that integrates that entire stream homepage experience right into Teams. So I'm in a class team here and I'm gonna open up the three dot menu and I'm gonna search for stream. There's the stream app. We'll click this and we're gonna add it on the left hand side. I'm gonna pin this to the rail and say pin. Now that stream app is pinned. Now you see a very similar set of experiences that you saw on that stream homepage. There's the recommended videos. There's the ability to filter right here by different types of options, shared, favorites. I can go from grid back to the list like this. Here's some of the recommended videos. And I have some of the options right here to upload, record, and create a playlist. So all of that stream homepage can be brought right here into a team. So I've got my left rail here and I've got stream pin so I can switch back and forth anytime I want from stream back. The sixth new feature is analytics for your videos for stream on SharePoint. I'm gonna go into here and open up a video I have. So let's open up this Learning Accelerators video. Here's my video and over on the right, I'm gonna choose analytics. This opens up a pane and I can see the number of views, the number of viewers. I can see statistics over time. So seven days, 30 days, 90 days, and I can see the number of viewers. Now this one doesn't have very many because it's a pretty recent video, but I even get a nice little analytics set right here where I can see how many people have been watching and where the drop-offs are. So similar to YouTube analytics and how you can see all these details, 
you can get lots of details on your videos very easily. Now you can control analytics or not on a specific video. If I click video settings and this has analytics on. So if I turn this off, then there will not be analytics captured on that video, but I'm going to leave that on. And by default, this is on. The seventh new feature is the preview experience. that's going to show what viewers will see by the video that you're putting out. So if I've created this video and I have some certain settings that I put on it, I want to have a preview of what other people are going to see when they experience the video. So maybe I will turn chapters on and I will turn analytics off and I'm going to turn comments off. So when I click preview here, it's going to launch this video and now it's going to show what do they see? So they see chapters over on the right. They don't see analytics or comments and it's been much more tuned down compared to if I was looking at it myself as the creator of that video. The eighth new feature is an improved SharePoint web part for stream. I'm going to go to the waffle here and launch SharePoint and I'm going to drill into a SharePoint site that I have. In the upper right, let's choose edit and I'm going to add a new web part. Let's go here to hover and click plus to add a new web part. And I'm going to search for stream and there's the stream web part. By default, it has a really nice new view. This is called theater view. So it puts one main video here and then a little carousel down here that will all be able to navigate very easily and people can see these different videos. I can also drop this down and choose grid. This is a grid view that'll show all the videos for the SharePoint site. So right here, I've got a set of six different videos that I can navigate through. So it's really easy. I'll go to theater and then in the upper right, I'll choose republish and then confirm. Now I've got a nice little stream carousel here. So I can click this and start playing this video. And if I want to pause that, I can, and I can scroll a little carousel below and navigate some of those other videos as well. And even play these right here. So if I go with that, we'll play this video. Very nice. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell. So you get all the latest videos that I post.